Shalom, Salam, this is Gaia, Mother Sophia Hyatt. How are you all today? Now today I'm going to talk about failure and how you can turn failure into success. I have, um, I've been getting a lot of messages um, on Instagram and email from people asking why they keep failing in relationships and in their professional lives. The first thing I want to say to you is that um, if you read my blog, you'll see that basically I work with a lot of what most people would consider very successful people. So these will be really famous people whose names I obviously can't mention. And they have achieved the pinnacle of their careers and will still come to me for spiritual guidance. And and through my work with um, these so-called um, people who have achieved the pinnacle of their career, the one thing that I have found means success to them is actually peace of mind. Now, we've also got to have a definition of what peace of mind is. Now, when I was growing up, success was being a doctor or an accountant, having a house, having lots of money, and those things are important. One thing we must not forget is that money is energy. Um, because if you start to hate money, you won't get it. So there's a lot of uh, so-called spiritual people as well uh, um, and non-spiritual people who have issues with money. And you've got to look at your relationship around money. Where does the belief come from that you can't make money or that you're poor or that money is bad? So there'll be some sort of belief system based around that, which is why money isn't entering your life. So, um, I mean, I'm digressing onto money because money is a part of success, isn't it? So money is energy. Now, failure. We've got to look at what failure actually is. And for me, failure is an opportunity to grow. And if you get lots of so-called failures, it means you are being given lots of opportunities to grow. So how do you look at what you think is a failure and turn that around. Well, first of all, um, from your present self, look at your past self. So the so-called failures only exist in the past. They don't exist in the future or the present. So um, that should make you feel good because your failures don't exist now and you only exist now. So failures don't exist if you think of it on a spiritual, philosophical way. So take what you think was a failure, whether it was a relationship or a professional thing, um, an audition, whatever it was, take that and look at it and see where you think you have failed. So for example, um, for me, when I was auditioning as a singer and I didn't get um, hundreds of auditions, um, I, I mean, then I wasn't, this spiritual on my third I wasn't open then so but I kept going to the auditions and kept going to the auditions and I just I just persevered it wasn't the perseverance that got me the job but what it actually was was that the actual audition itself was like a lesson so I learned from it um, uh, I wasn't consciously thinking of learning from it but I learned the more auditions I did the better I became at auditions and um, the better I knew myself and the more confident I became so um, when I looked back at some of my auditions, I'd gone in thinking that I wasn't good enough and that I wasn't going to get the job. I went in nervous, hoping that they would give me the job, but underlying there was an insecurity thinking that I wasn't good enough um, because it was a program and I, I like to call things program. See, from the years when you're between the ages of one to seven is when you get all of your subconscious programming, which is like the hardware that runs behind your everyday life. So you bring those first seven years of experience um, into your current day life. And it, it runs as a subconscious program in the background. For example, again, um, I, my book I'm writing at the moment, um, I talk about the subconscious program um, that basically runs your life. So you need to become aware of it in order to remove that. But for me, my subconscious program was, was failure. You will fail, you're not good enough. And that came from my parents um, and a teacher at school, actually. Um, so 
it came to a point where I was going to auditions just because I knew I was too good for them. That's how I, much I removed my program. So the first thing is about failure, how do you turn it around? See them as opportunities to grow. Look back and go, okay, what did I do that was not right? Let's talk about relationships. So um, uh, some of us, you know, we all want to be in a, in, in a wonderful relationship. And if I look back at my relationships, I kept going for things that weren't 100% good enough. I made excuses for them because it's like the early days of the relationship, he's done this, but that's okay because it's early days, but it's not okay. And that's what I've learned is that if there's something that I don't like, I will tell that person immediately without the fear of thinking I'm gonna lose them because if it's not something that makes you happy and it makes you feel uncomfortable, you must speak about it. So that's where my failure was, is that I did not speak about it. Um, and I had that with a, a, an ex who used to drink too much. Um, and I stayed in the situation uh, when I shouldn't have. So that's what I learned, is that if it's not good enough, you walk out. And it doesn't mean that you're going to be lonely. It means you're clearing away the crap so that what is meant to come to you will come. And that's exactly the same on your professional level, is that you've got to engage yourself fully in what you do. Now, you're, a lot of people will tell you, you must do what you love, and it is important to do that. But for example, if you want to be an actress like me, or a singer, all of these things, you can do them. These days are very different to the old days where you had to get a record deal, um, and blah 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 whereas these days we have social media we have videos we can make at home and upload to reach everybody so that in itself is success now once you think that that's success you don't have to think okay i need to be on a stage with jennifer lopez to be a success because once you start thinking like that you think you're a failure see um i got I had a, a single that was released by Z Music and it didn't get much hits because they messed around with the PR links. They changed the link on YouTube. Anyway, I released something myself and I got 1.8 million hits in seven days, which was incredible. And that's because I did it myself. I didn't go to anybody else and um, I just thought, okay, you're going to do this, Sophia. And you've got to make the decision to say, I'm going to do this and I can do this. So I could have seen the Z music thing as a, as a failure because it was 250,000 hits, which is not bad. Um, but for a big music company, I would have expected more. But instead, I wanted to prove that, you know what? I'm actually that good. And I did it myself. So failure doesn't really exist. It's really just a teacher. You know, when I say revisit your failures from the past, what I'm saying is, is you know when you revise for an exam, which I think uh, the education of today it needs to be changed because we have evolved as a hu human being and our thinking has evolved, even technology has evolved so much that, you know, to be a doctor these days, you don't need to sit down and memorize everything. You've got it on your phone, for goodness sake. So I think the education system needs to be changed so that it caters for us for fast learners um, because we are learning a lot faster than we ever were and the information is at our fingertips. Um, but, you know, when you revise and you've got to memorize things, you go back over when you do mock exams, the, your teacher marks your, your paper and you, they'll see where the mistakes are. So you will go, okay, these are my mistakes. I'm not gonna make that in the real exam, so I'm gonna study up on that. So this is what you're, you need to do with your so-called failures. Word I don't like because failure does not exist for me, only opportunities to grow. So you go back over it and say, okay, this is where the mistake was. So that next time you go into a situation, personal or professional, you don't do it again. So, it's an incredible time to be on the earth, especially with the energies and the technologies that are available to everybody. Whatever you want can be manifested in every single way. Become an observer of yourself. Um, look what I did in the past, look what went wrong, and then you can start to basically manifest and unfold whatever you want in your life by removing the, the mistakes. They're not failures, they're lessons. So once you understand the lesson, 
you then come into this body with your full power and force and with your full power and force you will create everything that is outside of yourself that requires work from you it requires you to remove yourself from anything that isn't in alignment with all of your beliefs I mean your true beliefs, not the ones that were taught to you. Because there are a lot of beliefs that are taught to you that aren't true. I believed I was a failure and I wasn't good enough and yet I'm a superhero wonder woman. And I love my life now. So forget believing. Start trusting your intuition. Come into your knowing. Know that you are an incredible being and that you have got so much potential that you yourself have been tricked out of. So come back to your full potential children. Come back to your full light. You do that by being true to yourself and apologizing to yourself for judging yourself harshly. There is no being creator or otherwise that is ever going to judge you because you were created divine and that's what you are. Once you understand that you are divine beings, you will be humble to exactly what you are because you are incredible. So when you bow your head to yourself and allow the temple, the church or the mosque to house you and look after you and worship you as creator, because everything is creator, right? then you will start to see a world and a life that you've always dreamed of. That's all you have to do to make things happen in this world. You don't need to go and protest on the streets or scream or cry or get angry. It's quite simple. Remove the things in your life that are hurting your eyes, your ears, your voice, your words, your smell, everything, people, places. Everything is energy, frequency and vibration. And in order to receive all that you're meant to receive, all that you essentially create, you've got to get rid of any vibrations that are trying to put you off your true frequency of divine light creator manifester, because that's what you are. Failure then doesn't exist at all, does it? Sending you all my blessings and love. Please subscribe to the videos, share the videos with those you think who can benefit from this. I'm here in service to you. I love you. Namaste, shalom, salam.